Hey y'all, it's Bitty Boo, AKA Dana. We're gonna talk about the food shortage. Plus we're gonna talk about the new recommendation of the government. Supposedly, the recommendation has been moved to a six week supply of food in case something happens. <clears throat> I want y'all to go to your local Walmart or any other grocery store. Look in your canned foods such as corn, green beans, things in that nature, canned foods. See if it says it may be a while before it's restocked due to shortages. Because it's happening all over the place. It's happening in Georgia. It's happening in West Virginia. Um, I forgot all the other states that it's happening in. It's happening here. In Oklahoma. This is why I'm urging y'all to prepare. Supposedly... Last year, we were supposed to have enough food stored back. To get the United States by for three years. This was last year. Okay, if, it, if there was that much food stored in the warehouses to get us by that long, what happened? <clears throat> Where did that food go? And who stockpiled it? I don't do scare tactics, but I want, do want y'all to think. What happens if this shortage continues? How many people are going to be fighting for food? How many people are going to be starving? I worry about people. It even makes me worry about me. Yeah, I have food stored. But for the ones that don't, and they find out I do, what's going to happen? Why didn't they... Why don't people use self-preservation insurance that's tangible? That they can touch, that they can feel, that they can fill their bellies with. which is not making sense. The food supply is supposed to come back in August. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, they're harvesting now. But they still got to can the food. They got to do this. They got to do that. Then they got to ship it out. I don't see August as a good September or October, yeah. I could see the food hitting the shelves then. But they're not going to be able to supply every state within a month. Is there something that we're not seeing? Is there there's something going on that we don't know about? I 
get online, look up short food shortages, see what's happening. Because if it's happening in America, and as they call us, the bread basket, what's coming our way? I wish now I had started to prepare in series back when I thought about it. That I was thinking people would just think I'm nuts. And they may still do it. <laughs> it makes me worry about my grandkids. Am I going to have enough stockpiled? <clears throat> I don't know. I hope I do. You know, I've been doing it for a long time. But then when I get a quite a bit stocked up but something happens and kids have to move home and we have to use a lot of it and then of course I have to start stockpiling again after they leave because I can't afford to while they're here something to think about y'all Again, this is not a scare tactic. I'm just asking y'all to please go look at your wall local Walmart, your local grocery stores, and see uh, what's going on out there. See if you have shortages in your area. Because I do in mine. Lady B does in hers. The revolting man does in his. And many others. Has shortages in their cities and states. Make sure you have self-preservation insurance. Now they're saying six weeks. That's double what I was trying to sh show y'all. If you can step it up, step it up. By bulk. I mean, even if you don't like beans, it wouldn't hurt to get some beans. You, it was better than eating air. Is it a scare tactic that they're trying to use on the American citizens? Is it really a shortage? I don't know. But I do know I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I would rather y'all be safe than sorry. Please. Look in your local areas and see if y'all are running short on food. Go down them canned food aisles. See how sparse they are, if they are. They are here. Remember y'all, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. And be prepared. Because, you know, we never know what's going to hit us. It could be an infrastructure fall. It 
could be a natural disaster. It could be anything. I love you each and every one. Bye.